Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. This has nothing to do whatsoever with the Bible, but I finally got a little sum picture in my profile pic instead of just the J for Jesus Freaking Gamer. It's a picture of Kaori Miyazono at the moment. And wonderful, delightful little anime called Your Lie in April in Japanese that Shigatsu. Oh, come on. Shigatsu wa Kimi no Uso. There we go. Your Lie in April. Shigatsu wa Kimi no Uso, and it's just a delightful little anime. So yeah, obviously, I'm a weeaboo, huge otaku, love anime, no apologies, and I get on to the word of God, but I was just, since I finally have a profile pic, I've been on YouTube since April, and I finally have a profile pic, and I'm a little excited, so I was like, I'm gonna share that, it's, I need to share this in the video, and it's a good anime, perfectly good. I, can, I have no problem sharing that in a Bible thing. On to the Bible! It's 2 Chronicles chapter 2, verse 1. Then Solomon determined to build a temple for the name of the Lord and a royal house for himself. And that's really the only verse that I plan on using for this particular message. He determined to build a temple for the name of the Lord and a royal house for himself. It's something that I used to have a problem with for many, many years, and a lot of people still struggle with it. We want to do something. You, you make a, however long a list you want of things you want to do, and there's a, an even longer list of the people over here that want to do a thing, whatever that thing may be. And we have that desire, but there's not really a drive to do it. There's not a determination to do it. So we want to do this thing, and it just kind of sits there and remains undone for weeks, months, years, decades, whatever this thing may be, whether it's to start a YouTube channel, whether it's to you know, sing in front of people or speak in front of people, whether it's to ask that cute guy or cute girl out, whatever it may be, where's the determination to do it? If you, Solomon had the materials. His father, David, had prepared him for all of that stuff. He had the wisdom. What he also had was the determination, and that's something it was lacking in my life for so, so long. I finally grabbed a hold of it. I'm not sure what the trick is. I think part of it is simply to just say, I'm going to do it, you know, whether it completely fails and busts, I don't care, I'm going to do it anyway. I think that's part of it. In overcoming the fear of the unknown and overcoming the fear of failure, those were... Some, excuse me, some in my eye here. Those were the obstacles that I had to personally overcome. Those were like mental barriers that I had to break down and say, I'm just, I'm going to do this. I may completely fail. I have no idea what I'm getting into, but I'm going to do it. And I just grabbed it with both hands and I said, I'm going to do this thing. And as small as it is, um, right now I'm at 89 subscribers on YouTube as of the publishing of this particular video. And I am quite happy with that. It, it's small. It's really tiny. It's definitely not, definitely not a business at this point, really only a hobby. Um, but I try to treat it as a business. I try to do things regularly. Well, at least on a semi-daily basis. <laughs> so I, all of my personal flaws are still here. I'm still me. But I've got that determination now. I'm starting to build something. Now it's, I want to encourage you to just dive in and do whatever it is that dream is, that person you really like, ask them out. That thing you want to do, try to do it. So what if you fail? So what if the person rejects you? You tried. You put forth your best effort. No one can ask for more than that. And who knows? Maybe if you, maybe if you do it, you might just succeed. And it might just work. 89 subscribers later, I'm not like some huge success or anything, but I'm not a failure either. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you. God bless.